Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions for penetration testing pen testing positions, along with detailed answers. 1. What is penetration testing, and why is it essential for organizations? Answer. Penetration testing is a proactive security assessment process that simulates real-world cyber attacks on a system, network, or application. It helps organizations identify and fix security vulnerabilities before malicious actors can exploit them, enhancing overall cybersecurity. 2. Explain the difference between penetration testing and vulnerability scanning. Answer. Penetration testing involves actively exploiting vulnerabilities to assess security defenses. While vulnerability scanning identifies and reports potential vulnerabilities without exploiting them, penetration testing provides a more comprehensive evaluation of security posture. 3. What are the main phases of a penetration testing engagement? And why is each phase important? Answer. The main phases are reconnaissance, scanning, gaining access, maintaining access, and analysis. Reconnaissance gathers information, scanning identifies potential vulnerabilities, gaining access validates weaknesses. Maintaining access tests, persistence, and analysis evaluates the overall assessment. 4. Can you explain the concept of social engineering in the context of penetration testing? Answer. Social engineering in penetration testing involves manipulating individuals to disclose sensitive information or perform actions that could compromise security. It assesses an organization's susceptibility to tactics like phishing, pretexting, or impersonation. 5. How do you choose the appropriate penetration testing methodology for a given scenario? Answer. The choice depends on the goals and scope of the engagement. Common methodologies include the open source security testing methodology Manual Austin, Penetration Testing Execution Standard TAS, and the Information Systems Security Assessment Framework ISAF. 6. Explain the role of automated tools in penetration testing, and name a few popular ones. Answer. Automated tools help identify and exploit vulnerabilities more efficiently. Examples include Nessus for vulnerability scanning, Lovesploit for exploitation, Burp Suite for web application testing, and Wireshark for network analysis. 7. What is the significance of a threat model in penetration testing? Answer. A threat model helps identify potential threats, attack vectors, and likely adversaries. It guides penetration testers in focusing their efforts on the most relevant and high-impact areas during an assessment. 8. How do you ensure the legality and ethics of your penetration testing activities? Answer. Ensuring legality and ethics involves obtaining proper authorization, adhering to rules of engagement, respecting privacy, and following industry guidelines such as those outlined by organizations like EC Council or Offensive Security. 9. Can you explain the difference between white box and black box testing approaches in penetration testing? Answer. White box testing involves having full knowledge of the target system, while black box testing simulates an external attacker with no prior knowledge. White box provides a comprehensive view while black box mimics real-world scenarios. 10. How do you approach testing a web application for security vulnerabilities? Answer. The approach involves mapping the application's attack surface, identifying vulnerabilities like skull injection, cross-site scripting XSS, and security misconfigurations, and testing user authentication and authorization mechanisms. 11. What is a buffer overflow, and how can it be exploited in a penetration test? Answer. A buffer overflow occurs when a program writes more data to a block of memory than it was allocated. In a penetration test, exploiting a buffer overflow involves injecting malicious code into the excess data to execute arbitrary commands or crash the system. 12. Can you explain the concept of session hijacking in the context of penetration testing? Answer. 
Session hijacking involves taking over a user's session to gain unauthorized access. In penetration testing, this may include exploiting session management vulnerabilities, sniffing session cookies, or using session tokens to impersonate users. 13. How do you perform a wireless network penetration test, and what tools do you commonly use? Answer. Testing wireless networks involves assessing encryption, identifying rogue access points and testing for vulnerabilities like WAPLUA WAPLUA2, cracking. Tools include Aircrack Eng for wireless LAN analysis and Wireshark for packet sniffing. 14. Can you explain the concept of DNS spoofing and how it can be tested in a penetration test? Answer. DNS spoofing involves manipulating DNS resolution to redirect users to malicious websites. In a penetration test, testers may use tools like Edercap or DSpoof to simulate DNS spoofing attacks and assess an organization's defenses. 15. How do you approach testing the security of IAT devices in a penetration test? Answer. Assessing IAT devices involves checking for default credentials, analyzing network traffic, identifying vulnerabilities in firmware, and ensuring secure communication protocols. Testers evaluate both device and network security. 16. What role does cryptography play in penetration testing, and how can cryptographic weaknesses be identified? Answer. Cryptography is tested to identify weaknesses in encryption algorithms, key management, and cryptographic implementations. Testers use tools like John the Ripper for password cracking and OpenSOL for cryptographic analysis. 17. Can you explain the process of post-exploitation in a penetration test? Answer. Post-exploitation involves maintaining access, escalating privileges, and exfiltrating sensitive information. Testers simulate the actions of a real attacker to assess an organization's ability to detect and respond to a breach. 18. How do you approach testing the security of a mobile application in a penetration test? Answer. Mobile application testing involves assessing the application's code, identifying vulnerabilities in communication channels, testing authentication mechanisms, and examining the storage of sensitive data. Tools like MobSuf and OAST MEST can be used. 19. What is the role of threat intelligence in penetration testing? and how can it be leveraged? Answer. Threat intelligence helps penetration testers understand the current threat landscape, adversary tactics, and emerging vulnerabilities. It informs testing scenarios, allowing testers to simulate real-world threats and improve the overall assessment. 20. Can you explain the purpose of a pivot in a penetration test, and how is it executed? Answer. Pivot involves leveraging compromised systems to attack other systems within the target network. It is executed by using tools like Metasploit to create a pivot and maintain access to additional network segments. 21. How do you handle false positives and false negatives in a penetration test report? Answer. Clearly document false positives and false negatives in the report, providing explanations for each. Include recommendations for addressing false positives and mitigations for false negatives. To help organizations improve their security posture. 22. Can you discuss the role of compliance standards in penetration testing, and which standards do you commonly encounter? Answer. Compliance standards guide penetration testers in assessing security controls. Common standards include PCI DSS for payment card industry. HIPAA for healthcare, and ISO, or EEC 27001, for information security management. 23. Explain the importance of a post-assessment debriefing session in a penetration test. Answer. A debriefing session allows the penetration testing team to discuss findings, share insights, and provide recommendations. It fosters collaboration, ensures a clear understanding of results and helps organizations prioritize remediation efforts. 24. How do you approach testing the security of a cloud infrastructure in a penetration test? Answer. 
Cloud infrastructure testing involves assessing configuration settings, testing identity and access management, and evaluating the security of data storage and communication channels. Tools like CloudMapper and ScoutSuite can be utilized. 25. Can you discuss the role of threat hunting in penetration testing, and how is it incorporated into assessments? Answer. Threat hunting involves actively searching for signs of malicious activity within a network. In penetration testing, threat hunting may uncover additional vulnerabilities or indicate areas where an organization's detection and response capabilities can be improved. 26. What is the significance of testing physical security in a penetration test, and how is it typically conducted? Answer. Testing physical security assesses an organization's defenses against unauthorized physical access. Techniques may include attempting unauthorized entry, bypassing physical controls, and testing the effectiveness of surveillance systems. 27. How do you handle a scenario where a critical vulnerability is discovered mid-assessment? Answer. If a critical vulnerability is discovered, immediately notify the organization's point of contact. Provide details on the issue and work collaboratively to assess the risk and plan remediation. Prioritize communication and follow any agreed-upon incident response procedures. 28. Can you discuss the role of risk assessment in penetration testing and how is risk typically communicated to stakeholders? Answer. Risk assessment involves evaluating the likelihood and impact of identified vulnerabilities. Communicating risk to stakeholders involves using a risk matrix, providing a clear understanding of the potential impact and likelihood of exploitation. 29. How do you ensure the confidentiality and integrity of sensitive information during a penetration test? Answer. Ensure that sensitive information is handled securely, encrypted in transit, and at rest, and only shared with authorized personnel. Adhere to non-disclosure agreements and prioritize the confidentiality and integrity of all information obtained during the assessment. 30. Can you discuss the ongoing education and training initiatives you pursue to stay current in the field of penetration testing? Answer. Ongoing education involves participating in industry conferences, attending webinars, pursuing relevant certifications and engaging in continuous learning through online courses and hands-on practice. Staying updated is crucial to mastering evolving penetration testing techniques. In conclusion, the questions and answers presented provide a comprehensive overview of key topics in penetration testing interviews. They cover methodologies, technical skills, and ethical considerations essential for effective penetration testing. Aspiring professionals should focus on mastering tools, staying updated with industry trends, and cultivating a strong ethical mindset. Continuous learning and hands-on experience are crucial for success in this dynamic field, where the ability to identify and address security vulnerabilities is paramount in safeguarding organizations against cyber threats. These answers provide in-depth insights into various aspects of penetration testing, interviews, covering technical expertise, methodologies, and ethical considerations. Aspiring penetration testers should emphasize continuous learning, practical experience, and a commitment to ethical and legal standards. For more exciting tips, tricks, and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, Please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers, and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most.
asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.